Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. Today we're gonna start with the bigger time frames and we're gonna start here on the BLX ticker and also in the logarithmic price chart because I also have pointed out here these potential bullish targets that we could reach towards $400,000 per Bitcoin in a couple of videos that I did here in the past. But today we also gonna have a look what happened in the past and if these Fibonacci extensions are really so relevant and that's why we're gonna have also a look in the past if those Fibonacci extensions were relevant or not. We're gonna start with the price action that we had here since the old all time high here of the 20k and the bottom of around $3,000 that we had in 2018. So the time frame that you can see right now is the weekly and if we do here a Fibonacci measurement based with the log data that we have right now, you can see that this gives us a Fibonacci extension of 1.618 at around $62,000. This is a potential target here before we could start a major correction. But this one over here, I think is the more important one here right at the 2.618 Fib line at around $400,000 dollar because in my opinion that could be a potential realistic target if bitcoin is going completely ham here towards the end of this year so based on the fibonacci extensions this could be a potential target here for the next big parabolic run which in my opinion could happen towards the end of this year but of course this price target right now seems a little bit far-fetched and also if we have a look here into the grow curves you can see that currently bitcoin could reach a potential price target of ninety thousand dollar at least for now so the more time passes the higher this growth curve is going and one day we could also reach in theory this four hundred thousand dollar but based on this growth chart we wouldn't reach 400k before approximately march 2024 so it is possible that maybe this price target we're gonna reach within the next cycle of bitcoin and not within this cycle but based here on this Fibonacci extensions, it's telling you that it is possible that we could reach even this target here in this cycle. And this is going to be the big question of this year, of course, if we are able to go so high or not. And that's why we're doing now this uh, little experiment here. We go back in time and have a look if we can apply these Fibonacci extensions also with the last runs that we had in Bitcoin. So here with the data that we have so far, you can see that 62,000 could be a relevant price target at least here for the short term within the next couple of months if we're gonna continue to go higher and higher here I think it is very likely that we could see a possible local top here at 62,000 before a potential bigger correction towards a 9 or 20 weekly moving average currently lining up here between $24,000 and $18,000 but let's focus now on these possible bullish targets here and not the bearish targets in case of a correction so let's go now a little bit back in time here and let's do a Fibonacci retracement here based from the last all-time high of $1,180 and the bottom that we had here at 166. So if we measure here, this gives us a 1.618 FIB extension of around $4,000. And if we have a look what happened at this price level, you can see that here we, in this area we had some resistance. We had a little pullback here, then continuation to the upside towards 4,500, another little pullback, and then this parabolic move towards 20K. So this area here of 4K had a little bit of significance here on the parabolic run up in 2017. But as you can see here, this 1.618 was not the top. We overshooted this target by around 5x. And now the more important price level is this one over here, the 2.618 at $28,000. So you can see that Bitcoin didn't reach here the 2.618 FIB extension, but we came very, very close to it so it is possible that maybe if we didn't have the cmes launching at this specific time area here that bitcoin could have even gone here towards thirty thousand dollar and then maybe started a huge correction but since we had here the launch of the cmes and also we touched here the top of this grow curve bitcoin topped out here and then started the massive correction down towards the 200 moving average which is also coinciding with the bottom here of this grow curve so you can see that we came 
very very close here to the 2.618 Fib extension level and this is also what we could see also in this cycle that we may become very close to this price level here maybe not exactly 400,000 but somewhere between 3 to 400,000 that is in my opinion a very realistic target even though this would of course overshoot this grow curve here by far because even if we go here a little bit further on in the year towards the end of this year you can see that this would give a price of around $140,000 per Bitcoin which of course is also very realistic but I think we could even overshoot here this growth curve a little bit before we're gonna start a major correction possibly to the bottom here again but till the end of the year there is still a lot of time to go my friends so let's go again a bit back here in the chart and let's have a look here the measurement from this all-time high that we had at $31 and the bottom here at around $2. So if we do the same Fibonacci measurement here you can see that this gives us a 1.618 Fib extension of around $200. This also had a lot of significance here during this uh, bull run here. You can see that also we came very close to this price level then had a correction and then started the last parabolic move towards $1,150 and here you can see that we have a big difference between the 2.618 FIB extension of around $3,300 and here the all-time high that we had here at 1150 so here we have a big difference in the price and of course also this time we could see such a similar thing that we will not reach here the 2.618 fib extension at around 400,000 maybe in the next cycle it is possible but in this cycle it's still too early to tell my friends it is possible I think it is possible to reach this area here but we would need to overshoot this growth curve by far so in theory we could reach by the end of this year this 100 40k area and also be completely in track with our stock to flow price model which is predicting the price to be at around 100k so in my opinion we will overshoot this price target by far if it's going to end towards 140k I'm not pretty sure I'm more convinced that we will go even higher but of course at those price levels between 100 to 140k it is a very good price level to take at least a little bit of profits maybe not to sell everything but at least to start to taking out a little bit of profits a little bit of cash so you are also ready for the next bear market which could potentially take us again way below 100k so you can then accumulate again more bitcoin and be ready for the next parabolic cycle because i think the next cycle after the next halving will take us far above four hundred thousand dollar and latest by then you want to have as much bitcoin as possible accumulated so let me know my friends what are you thinking is 140k the potential next big all-time high of bitcoin or are we able to go even higher towards 400k please let me know in the comment section what you think and if you are already a member of my discord trading chat let me know in discord what are you thinking and if you're not yet member in my discord trading chat then make sure to join it you find the invitation link down below here is completely for free and everyone is welcome this is also the place where you can get access to my live stream which is showing my own indicator for a little donation of course so if you're interested you can also contact me on discord if you want to see that live stream and now let's go back to the chart and let's open up the bitstamp chart and go back to the normal scale because here in the normal scale and also in the normal Fibonacci extensions you can see that we are coming very close to this one over here right at $47,000 so in the normal scale and in the normal Fibonacci extension without the log scale you can see that first we had here 1.618 at 30k we broke to the upside and the next target in theory is right here at $47,000 we are very close to reach this price level so I think here we could maybe see a blow off top towards this price level especially if here we are starting to struggle to go higher because today Bitcoin is looking again a bit more weaker than yesterday we will have a look on that later in the lower time frames here in the bigger time frames like the weekly I just want to remind you that we could see at any time here a possible drop towards the nine weekly moving average at 24,000 or maybe in worse down towards the 20 weekly at $18,000 which is also coinciding with the 0.618 FIB retracement based on the bottom that we had here in March at $3,800 and the local top that we have currently here at around $42,000. You can also see that the RSI, my own indicator, still 
very very overbought but of course we can stay in this area for a very long time and as long as Bitcoin is closing weekly candles above the Bollinger Band so currently above $34,000 we should see the price going higher and higher and you can also see here the stochastic is since last year in November in overbought condition and we never had any kind of little pullback here in the stochastic we are very overbought here since months already and if we have a look also into the KSD and MACD you can see that they are still looking very bullish and here it doesn't look like that we are topping out anytime soon so as long as Bitcoin is closing weekly candles above $34,000 so above the Bollinger Bands we should expect the price to go higher only if we would start to close weekly candles again within the Bollinger Bands then I think we could see a retracement back down towards these two moving averages here so between the 9 and 20 weekly and now let's go down to the daily time frame because here you can see that currently it looks like that maybe here we could form a local top at 42,000 we also are very overbought in the RSI and in my own indicators so we could see a possible retracement back down towards a 9 daily moving average at $36,500 if here we're gonna have a big bounce from it then make sure that you scale in some nice longs and maybe also DCA a little bit more into Bitcoin because this 9 daily moving average so far was always a very strong support during all retracements here so make sure that you're watching this price level here at $36,500 if you want to open up a long position right now but make sure that you don't go to high leverage because if the 9 daily moving average will not hold if we are starting to close daily candles below this moving average we could be in a bigger correction at least towards the 20 daily moving average at around 30k and if this one will not hold we could see a complete retracement again towards one of these important supports down here between $25,000 down to $19,000 and there most likely we're also going to touch the 20 weekly which at that time probably will be at around eighteen thousand dollar so watch out for these price levels my friend if you want to open up a long position and buy more bitcoin because this could be a potential bounce area here as long as we're not closing daily candles below the nine daily moving average and if we have a look also into the bollinger bands you can see that bitcoin is still trading here on the upper area so as long as we're closing above thirty six thousand five hundred, we should be gearing up here to the upside and even if the price would fall towards the midline here of thirty one thousand dollar this could also mean that Bitcoin could have a big bounce from it and we will not go lower than 30k so it is possible that we're gonna see Bitcoin between 36,000 to 31,000 dollar here in the next couple of days before we're gearing up here for the next big move but watch out if 30k is lost then we most likely gonna go straight towards 20k which is also the bottom here of the Bollinger Bands and if MACD and KSD gonna have a bearish cross this could lead in this correction because uh, the stochastic already had a bearish cross and if here we're gonna cool off at least towards the 50 level this could bring the Bitcoin price again towards 30k and potentially even lower and now my friends let's go over into the four hour time frame because currently Bitcoin is looking again more weak than yesterday yesterday we had the chance here to have this a big push towards $47,000 which could have taken us towards the next FIB extension that I mentioned before but as you can see right now we are crashing below the support and we had now already a four hour close below the 20 moving average and that of course is a very bearish sign at least here for the lower time frames and now everything is going to be depending where we're going to close this four hour candle because as you can see by now we are testing the 20 moving average right at 39 thousand nine hundred dollar if this candle is gonna close below this moving average I think we could have this correction down towards the 50 moving average here at around thirty five thousand dollar and if this one will not hold if this support area down here at around thirty five will not hold we most likely gonna see a correction even down towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame currently at around twenty six thousand five hundred dollars so it is possible that Bitcoin could retrace down towards these important and supports down here between $26,000 to $35,000 and there we're gonna see if Bitcoin 
one can create somewhere a support consolidate and then gear up for the next big move to the upside because if we are turning here in the four hour into a bear trend so if we're starting to close four hour candles below the 200 moving average so below twenty six thousand dollar we could be in a bigger correction which could take us at least towards 20k potentially even towards eighteen thousand dollar where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up right now so i don't say that you should go short right now but if you plan to short then this could be a good opportunity if we have the confirmation that the 20 moving average right now in the four hour is turning into a confirmed resistance otherwise just wait for a potential drop here and scale in some nice long positions and also buy more bitcoin because even if in the lower time frames we could be in a bigger correction here bitcoin is still in a bull trend and we should look for longs during a bull run and not for shorts and if you also want to take advantage and maximize your gains when we go up or down then make sure that you're able to trade over on femex and bybit if you still need an account over there then make sure to use my referral links down below here because with my links you will get some bonus some extra money so you can do some free trades with that money of course you have to put a first deposit on it but this is the place where you can maximize your gains if you go long or if you go short because remember you can always do money when we are going down or when we're going up and since bitcoin right now could have a potential correction towards one of these important supports i think it is good to look for nice long entries and start to scale in some nice longs because for the long term bitcoin will go way higher and you definitely want to sit in a nice juicy long position so you can take even more gains with you and if you don't feel too comfortable in trading yourself with leverage then maybe try out prime xpt because here you can copy trade other successful traders like this one over here has already more than 16 thousand percent in gains so if you want to try it out then make sure that you sign up with my referral link down below here for prime xpt here you don't need kyc nothing just your email top up some bitcoin and then you can immediately copy trade other traders and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now let's see if bitcoin is gonna confirm this resistance here at around thirty nine thousand dollars this will give us a very good opportunity to scale in some nice longs and also buy more cheaper bitcoin because remember for the long term bitcoin will go higher and higher so if you can buy cheaper bitcoin then take advantage and don't go and panic sell my friends because we are still at the beginning of a major bull run so if you like the content i would very much appreciate my friends if you can just hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also if you're completely new in the crypto space and you have no idea where you should buy bitcoin or where you can trade bitcoin then check out all the links that you find down below here because with my invitation links you will get some extra money and here you can find all the legits and recommended exchanges where you can buy and trade bitcoin and please also join our discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now